Children, we welcome you to our Monday message for children. And we are, of course, in the season of Lent. <clears throat> and as most of you know, during Lent, we follow the stations of the cross. We have talked about that before. And when we follow the stations of the cross, we remember how much Jesus suffered as he carried that cross for us. And usually, when we think of the stations, we think of the bad people. We think of Pontius Pilate, who knew Jesus was innocent, and nonetheless gave in to the crowd and sent Jesus to die. We think of the soldiers who cruelly mocked Jesus, scourged him, and eventually crucified him. We think of one thief who made fun of Jesus and said, you're supposed to be the son of God, take us down from the cross. And we think of most of the people who were standing there that day saying he saved others. He cannot save himself. Those are the bad people. But I think we should always remember that the stations of the cross give us stories of good people. People that we want to be like. And I want to talk today about three of them. And they are all in the stations. The first one is the station where I'm standing now. It is the station of Mary meeting her son, Jesus. The first good person that our Lord met as he carried the cross was the most important person in his life, his mother. Mary would not abandon him, even though her heart must have been breaking, as any mother's heart breaks when she sees her child suffering. Even though that was happening, Mary stayed there. In fact, later on, the gospel says she stood at the hill of Calvary where Jesus was dying. She didn't collapse. She didn't fall down. She stood there bravely, courageously, as any mother does for her child. In this station, think about the people who love you, who stand by you, who help you to go on. May you have the benefit of those people even as Jesus had Mary helping him on the way to the cross. And then the second good person that we meet in the stations of the cross. And this is a beautiful story. This man's name was Simon, Simon of Cyrene. Cyrene is in North Africa, and Simon was a worker, probably a farmer. And he was coming in, the gospel says, from the fields. He had finished his work and was going home. And probably he came over to the crowd to see what was going on as Jesus was carrying the cross. And the soldiers grabbed him and forced him to help Jesus carry the cross. You can imagine how Simon felt. He probably said to the soldiers, I want to go home. But the soldiers made him carry the cross. And at first, Simon must have been so upset, even angry. But then when he saw the goodness of Jesus, he was happy to help. And the message of this station is that we must be ready to help too. Sometimes we don't want to do things at home. Sometimes we don't want to do our assignments for school. Sometimes we don't want to help another person. But the Lord is inviting us to be like Simon of Simon, 
and to help other people carry their crosses too. And then the third person, that we meet today is a holy woman named Veronica. Now, Veronica was not a famous lady. She was certainly not a rich person by any means. Veronica was just there as Jesus was carrying the cross and she felt so sad for him. She wanted to do something. And all she had was the veil over her head, the covering. And so she pushed through the crowd and went up to Jesus and just wiped his face. That's all. A little thing. But Jesus was so pleased with her little kind action of mercy that he gave her a gift. The gift of his picture, his face, on her veil. It was Jesus's way of showing Veronica and showing us that even little things that we do are so important to him. It is not important how big a thing is. What is important is that we do it with great love. Those are three people that we think of in the Stations of the Cross. And as the weeks go on, we will think of the other good people as well. But today, think of our Blessed Mother. Think of Simon of Simon. Think of Veronica. And like those good people, may we always be with Jesus. And with that in mind, we pray that Almighty God will continue to bless you and your family and keep you safe. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen.